The place, West Germany. The time, the future. This film looks at the way in which the Royal Engineers, the Sappers, prepare for and fight a war. This is London. BBC World Service, the news. In New York, a United Nations study group states that of the world's 184 governments, only 36 have been democratically elected to power. The United Nations Secretary General said in his annual report, this is an alarming fact reflecting a situation likely to continue in the foreseeable future. Across Central Europe, the warm, dry, sunny weather enters its 23rd How are you, Derek? Heels, us and head as usual. Now, how can we achieve this? Our story features the sapper and the part he would play in a conventional war. The valley. A role that embraces many duties. Gunnar, we could strengthen the natural obstacles and bring a minefield from the edge of the tree line. From building bridges to destroying them. From laying minefields to clearing them. From digging command posts to producing maps. What's the score with this car? From repairing power cables to providing water. From delivering the post to building a forward operating pad for the RAF's versatile Harrier. There are sapper commandos and parachute sappers. For engineer support plays a vital role in today's army. Whether slowing or stopping enemy forces or keeping our own on the move. The Midday News. At the NATO ministerial meeting in Brussels, all 16 member countries expressed their deep concern over the continued growth in the Soviet Warsaw Pact conventional forces. The Chief of Staff confirmed that in many areas we are outmanned and outgunned by a ratio of four to one. He also stated that for the past six months, Allied forces have been in an advanced state of readiness and added that with the rise in international tension, no Allied country should drop its guard. Good morning, gentlemen. Let's just see where we stand at the moment. As we've previously discussed, we're going to stand firm on Line Charlie. The two reserve routes are through here and here. And there are two reserve demolitions, one here and one here, each of which will be guarded by one combat team. Yes, sir, and all other bridges across the River Blomfield will be prepared as primary demolitions. The role of the Royal Engineers is to help our forces to live, move and fight and to prevent enemy forces from doing any of these three things. To hamper enemy mobility, the sappers produce an obstacle plan. Well, if the river stays up like this, it would make a hell of an obstacle, wouldn't it? Yeah, awesome. The preparation of a key bridge for demolition is just one part of the plan. Anywhere through there, sir, through the clearing. Over by the barn at the end of the house, would that suit you? That'd be fine, sir, yeah. Lovely. Good. Others, also to impede the enemy's mobility, are the digging of anti-tank ditches and the laying of minefields. Roger, if the enemy were to come into my brigade area in this direction, right. what I'd like to do is to canalise him in this sort of area here yes, and see. then uh, destroy him. Yeah, I see. If I could have a minefield straight ahead linking the two hills, that would suit my purpose, and I suspect it would give him something to think about. Yeah, I think. Hi, lads. This is the start of a few hard days of mine laying. Mine laying was once done by hand. Three panels. Today, over 600 bar mines can be laid in an hour. The minefield is then covered by fire. BBC World Service. The news from London at nine hours Greenwich Mean Time. This morning at dawn, with Yugoslavia on the brink of civil war, combined Russian, Polish, Czech and East German troops crossed the Yugoslav frontier. 
Western leaders have expressed considerable concern over the worsening international situation. The North German plain is rolling tank country, ideal for an armoured assault. To hamper such a blitzkrieg, the obstacle plan is strengthened by cratering and blocking woodland tracks. We can add to their problems as well by felling trees across the tracks. That should give them a headache. This is BFBS, the 10 o'clock news. Warsaw Pact forces continue to gather in strength in East Germany. The Soviets claim that they're on major exercises, but the West remains skeptical. In Brussels, the chief of staff warned that the Soviets have the greatest military weapon, that of surprise. He further stated, Allied forces must remain vigilant and ready for the worst. His speech was claimed as warmongering and hawkish by the governments of... Regiment lorry officer again. At divisional headquarters, measures are put into effect to counter the potential threat. Coded messages send teams of sappers to their deployment areas, ahead of the rest of the army. While sappers go to their war locations, a mines and explosive depot is opened up and munitions outloaded to a forward area. As the possibilities of conflict draw closer, preparation is the key word and another bridge in the potential combat zone is prepared for demolition. An airborne demolition party is helicoptered in to speedily lay the explosives. Prepare the measles shot. Plus, run out the horizontal ring main. Yeah. Okay? You got that. Further upriver, a railway bridge is also hastily made ready for demolition. We now interrupt programs on BFPS Cologne with a news flash. Information is reaching us regarding a raid early this morning on a nuclear research establishment south of Hamburg. In addition, a series of mysterious explosions have cut off gas and electrical supplies to the cities of Bonn, Essen and Dusseldorf. The Bundestag is now in emergency session and the Chancellor has appealed to NATO to act swiftly to prevent any further armed incursions. We'll keep you informed of further events as news reaches us. Along the potential edge of the battle area, sappers help the infantry and armoured units to construct their defensive positions. Hey! Use your ticket to give us a helmet at the trenches, mate. No two jobs are ever the same, and hardly ever from the textbook. Okay, Mitch, this is a mech to dig. It's already marked out for you. No problem, Here, the yeah. skills and an array of highly mobile equipment are used to improvise and create everything. From a Mexi command post shelter that is built within four hours to a slip trench for a blowpipe missile. OK, guys, a little bit. We've come up now. From a small foxhole for an infantryman with a Law 80 to a giant tank slot. In all, preparation, and yet more preparation. BBC World Service, the news. It has been confirmed that following a night of speculation, at first light today, Warsaw Pact forces attacked Allied Command Europe. Last night, large-scale parachute and undercover operations created power breakdowns in many German cities. 
Along the border, there appears to be a massive armored assault as the Soviets attempt to advance along two axes, one seemingly aimed at Hamburg, the other at Frankfurt. TA, let's have you over here. First reports from the battle zone are very confused, but a NATO spokesman says the Allies are under severe pressure. Divisional headquarters and the time to put all the preparatory work to test. Bravo Whiskey. 12 T Force moving west. Callsign Bravo 2 to Alpha is observing. What was that? Uh, it's a screen force reporting to Corsa. The enemy are some two Ks inside the border. There we are, sir. Penetration to about there. First, to harass and slow down the advancing enemy, into action goes the obstacle plan. Go, Kieran! Yes, sir. Get those trees down! <laughs> Cratering tracks and tree blowdowns block potential routes. Is that the more land? That's the more land and system at zero. OK, jump back in. Firing now. Also, to further impede the enemy's advance, Ranger anti-personnel mines are fired and laid amidst the anti-tank minefield. Over the River Weser, on the northern front. Keep your head down. Firing now. Two of the preliminary bridges are blown. Fleeting Alpha, firing now. Out. That was a hell of a bang. OK, move. Move now to task at Grid 4, Sierra. But such are the many demands of war that on another front, the need to build bridges. Demo, 1-3, Roger. Out. OK, Chris, let's go. Sappers have three main bridge-building techniques. First to move off is an assault bridge, the highly mobile armoured vehicle launch bridge. Let's go! Then from their woodland hides down country lanes and through villages, rumble amphibious rigs known as M2s. These vehicles are capable of bridging the widest German river they head for their rendezvous. Ground. If you look at the model in front of you, you will see, first of all, running from north to south, the River Rider. Situation. Early this morning, enemy fighter ground attack destroyed this bridge at grid. Finally, a team tackles the crossing of another river by using the sapper's basic bridge, the medium girda bridge. Mission. Our mission is to construct a 12-bay medium girda bridge at grid. Five, seven, six. The MGB, the modern equivalent to the old trusty Bailey Bridge, is composed of man-portable alloy units. This bridge has got to be up in 90 minutes. Bloody hell, Mr. Joe. Once constructed, the MGB can support the West's largest tank. Get in. Get in. Get in. Okay, Tim, watch you. Up. Head up. Head up. Towards the gap. Keep it going. All the way. At its rendezvous, the armoured vehicle launch bridge swings into action. Here, a crew of three produce a crossing point without leaving their vehicle in under four minutes.
The wide, fast-flowing River Weser is a more formidable river to cross, and sapper divers report on current and bank conditions. There's no way we can use that as an entrance point, sir. There's too many obstacles. It'll give us problems. OK, so shady nook it is, then. Looks like it, sir. OK, let's have you out. Come on! At Shady Nook, code name for the crossing point, speed is of the essence. As the M2s hurriedly enter the water, manoeuvre against the current and link up to form the bridge. During such an operation, men and machines are forced to bunch up, making an obvious target. So crossing such a formidable military obstacle under battle conditions demands a quick, coordinated effort. The CTs are ready, sir. Fine. Get them across to the far bank to cut those rig exit slots. Right, sir. The Sapper's Combat Engineer tractor is a highly versatile vehicle that, apart from swimming, is capable of many other roles. No, it's not going to do it. It's too steep. I'll use the anchor. This one is fitted with a Vinicum anchor that, once fired and embedded into the far side, okay, assists the CET to haul itself up the steepest of banks. Corporal Lee, sir, how many more curb pieces? Two, sir. Good. All we've got left are those two on the trackway and we've finished. By the River Rider, the medium girder bridge, oh, assembled in only one and a half hours... Bridge should be open in five minutes, sir. ...is now complete. And over the river rolls the urgently required build-up of combat power. Once the armoured regiment is safely across, the MGB can be quickly dismantled, hidden and ready again for instant use. I'll let the RMPs know that we'll be ready for traffic in five minutes, sir. Fine. Get the ARV across as quick as you can and its winch rope laid out ready. Right, sir. Further north, on the River Weser, the M2 bridge construction is also complete and a combined armoured infantry force crosses the powerful swirling river in less than an hour. Once over, the M2s are dismantled and hidden for future use. For the need to reinforce, redeploy, move at speed is vital to any force, whether for armour or aircraft. Such is the pace of modern warfare that quick responsive air support is essential to check any armoured assault. A frontline attack aircraft of such capability is the RAF's Harrier. In a woodland setting, where the building of the short takeoff strips, landing pads, fuel stores and hides has been done by sappers, eight Harriers land and are camouflaged in only 12 minutes. A Harrier subsite is a mini airfield where intelligence information can be gathered and the aircraft rapidly refueled and rearmed, ready for combat. I want to put in a quick counterattack through this 
area tonight. It will mean getting through our minefield here. As well as creating well, minefields, sappers also have to breach them. Well, the minefield's not too deep at this point, sir. What we could actually do is put a couple of giant vipers in tandem, and that will give us a good safe lane. Here, the Avery, fitted with a giant Viper rapid breaching device, explodes a safe path in a matter of minutes. Farming, no! Hello, Zero. This is Lima 14 Alpha. Moving forward now, over. Then along comes the mine plough. This safety measure clears any mines that have not exploded. Now, I would like to have a look at the terrain just a bit further over to the east here. Knowing the battle area, the lie of the land, is crucial to any soldier. The sappers' terrain analysis teams quickly supply such much-needed data, providing the commander with information about the going, helping him to make a rapid plan. Oh, yes, sir. As you can see from the area concerned, it's a flat valley, fine for tracked and wheeled vehicles, but due to the steepness of the slopes on either side, only tracked vehicles. There are also two areas to the fore where tracked and wheeled vehicles shouldn't go, only foot soldiers. Right, what about this place here? That's the same as the two areas at the foreground. It's impassable by wheeled vehicles and tracked vehicles, only foot soldiers. Fine. Well, Sergeant Todd, thank you very much indeed. That's thank excellent. Sir. Yeah, thank no. you, Don. Now, Robert, I want to get this information down to the commander of the counterattack force as quickly as possible. I'd like Brigadier Young to have it by 0400. Sappers, as well as carrying the post, are responsible for the vital flow of classified battlefield information between corps and divisional headquarters and major units. Well, for HQ, sir. Good. While you're here, Tacky friends are running off maps for the counterattack force, and we're going to need a rapid response. Right, I'll just inform my uh, postal and courier. It's already been done. You've got the job. Oh, fine. Yeah. From a mobile print truck situated in the field, the tacky print maps are produced. Yeah, they're coming off now. Maps that are essential for the planning of quick offensive strikes. Enter a tacky That's right. Tacky print. print. Yes. Thanks very much. Anything else for us? No, sir. Reports seem to indicate that the enemy have broken through here, just east of Icebergen. It's very confused down at the bridge, sir. The enemy are getting quite close, but the Irish guards are holding well. Hell Arm have slowed the enemy down, but we've still got a lot of 20 brigade to get back across. Well, you keep me informed of exactly what's going on at Icebergen. Close to the forward edge of the battle area, the reserve bridge on the main supply route at the hamlet of Icebergen is still open allowing the safe withdrawal of civilians and Allied armour. Sierra 3-0, this is zero sensitive. Sierra 3-0, we have scores of refugees intermingled with elements of 20 Armoured Brigade are crossing now. We have been under intermittent FGA attack. Enemy airstrikes hit civilian areas and a bomb-damaged house blocks an essential supply route. It is a sapper task to keep these routes open. Attack, 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 air attack. We're respirating. Air attack! State red, state red. Attack, attack, attack. But the true target of the airstrikes, a nearby RAF airfield, is also hit. Airfield damage repair is another sapper responsibility, and a vital one, for bomb craters can make the most sophisticated of airfields inoperable. We've got two medium-sized craters, one of them badly covered in FOD, has some broken concrete. The other one, the other one looks like a damaged high-voltage cable. Can you come round again, Stump? Roger, sir. Have them inside. Yup, yup, that cable's been severed. OK, staff, let's go back to the Northern Taxiway. The object is to repair the airfield as quickly as possible. 
and such repair work is dependent on speed and skill in the handling of an array of specialist equipment. But not all the bombs have done their job, and another task, and a long-established Sapper one, is the defusing of unexploded bombs. Let's bring up the rocket wrench. We've got a Fab 250 here. At the moment, the tail well, there's no fuse in it at all. The fins are in good condition. Should come out without any problem at all. Tie it up on there. Got it. OK. Check the cable. Test for continuity. OK, sir. Prime. Ready. Far when ready. Far in now. OK, come on, lads. Get that sleeper off. The bomb on, safe. And a specialist team of sappers repair the tracks. Their job, to keep the railways running and the much-needed flow of military supplies. When the airfield craters have been cleared, filled and compacted to the level of the original runway, they are then covered with special mats of prefabricated metal planks. These are then bolted to the runway surface. Tasks number 101 and 102 complete. Once complete and the damaged main cable repaired, power is switched back on. The airfield is now fully operational again. Enemy activity is certainly intensifying along the whole of our front, but I'm particularly concerned about the enemy encircling Eisbergen. Our 20 Brigade are doing well there and putting up a good fight, but we can't keep that route open forever. How long would it take your sappers to change the bridge from State 1 to State 2? Oh, we can go from State 1 to State 2 in about seven minutes, sir. In that case, I'll send a code word to the Guard Commander straight away. Roger, right. Cormac, proceed from Dev, and authenticate it, sir. Thank you. Cormac, change from State 1 safe to State 2 armed. Corporal Enemy! At Eisbergen, Allied armour and the remaining refugees hastily withdraw across the reserve bridge. Any of you lads still over there? Everything all right up there? OK, Jim. A sapper demolition team makes final checks. Sir, we've just heard that 20 Brigade have completely withdrawn over the bridge at Icebergen. Good, so we've got them across. What about refugees? Most of them have been ahead of the Brigade all along. The last few are just trickling through. Right. Robert, let's see how well your men can demolish that bridge. Can do, sir. Avenger. Roger out. Avenger, that means farther demolition. Clear the bridge, come Sir Major! Give me a phone call, Elvin. Is everything OK? Yes, sir. Fingers crossed. Nearby stands the Avery, with its 165mm demolition gun, ready, if needed, to dismantle final remnants of the bridge. Right, final demolition, Corporal Ellaby. Everybody down. Fire in now. This is London. BBC World Service, the news at 19 hours Greenwich Mean Time. As the Soviet invasion of West Germany enters its fifth day, we heard last night of a significant Allied victory in the northern sector near the village of Eisbergen. Here, an entire Soviet attacking armoured force was lured into a bottleneck on the east side of the River Weser. The resulting airstrike led to very heavy Soviet casualties that, according to intelligence reports, completely thwarted the Soviet advance in that area. Latest reports indicate British armoured units on the offensive. Elsewhere, in the so-called Fulda Gap, 
American forces continue... All along the front, there has been progress. And with the offensive underway, a foreseen quickly bridges a ditch. Enabling the armour to move forward. The place, West Germany. The time, the future. This film looked at the way in which the Royal Engineers prepared for and fought a war. One in which the combined skills of the sappers played a vital role. In battle, when tanks and infantry are on the offensive, sappers are alongside them. Building bridges, clearing paths, demolishing obstacles, laying mines and constructing roads, tracks and airstrips. Some of the many tasks performed by field, armoured, amphibious, parachute and commando units of the Royal Engineers. <laughs> 